Hey everybody, and welcome to another Learn to Digitize video. My name is Sue, and I'm a Hatch educator. And today, the quick tip of the day is Hatch Smash Part 2. So I wanted to explain to everyone this technique again, but also that you don't have to use it just for lettering. It is brilliant for lettering, but you can use it on any design that you want. And let's learn how. It's, it's super easy. Again, the hatch smash technique is brilliant for using on, you know, really thick towels, big blankets that have a high nap like the fake fur. And what it does is that it smashes down all of those fibers so your embroidery that you put on top of it is much clearer and it looks amazing it's absolutely amazing so let's get rid of this that was just my title let's go to my designs and we're just going to pick one of the designs that comes with um hatch there's a whole bunch of them here but let's pick something like this, like the birdie that you'd think, you know, that would be pretty difficult to do if you wanted to put it on a um, a blanket or anything. We're, we're going to go through a couple of them. So this one we're going to do first. So I'm just going to double click on it and it's going to open it up right in hatch. Now this guy is really cute. And if you wanted to put this on a baby blanket with lettering, maybe a name or a last name or a date or something, um, you want to make it look better. So all you have to do for this te technique is select everything. Now, I don't have my resequence up here. There's a lot of parts, so make sure you have all the parts. The keyboard shortcut for this is Control A, and it's going to select all. That's what it is. And we're going to go down to Edit Objects, and we're going to go right here to Create Outlines and Offsets. Now, we don't want an outline. An outline is just going to put it super close in there. While it looks good, it's not going to have the effect that we want. So I usually do three or four outlines. It doesn't actually matter the color. Um, but this one here, see, it's going to intersect. It's going to go over them. And this one here is going to merge it. And we really want the merge one. Now you can change the offset. Four millimeters isn't a whole lot. But let's just try. Half the fun of this technique is trying and trying different things. So let's click OK. And we'll give the computer a second. Now look, we have beautiful offsets. So depending on what you're stitching it on, that would be the offset that you'd pick. Now this worked amazingly well. Now I don't think I want one this far out. This one, maybe not. So between one or two. Now I'm just doing it on a fleecy blanket. So I'm gonna pick the first one actually worked. And then we're gonna go to fill. And that looks kind of weird like that, but we're going to change it, so don't worry. So what we want to do first is that we want to change the density of the fill. Because this is too thick, and if we were to stitch this, and then the bird that happens to be underneath, but that's okay, we're going to change that. Um, it's going to be way too thick, and it won't have quite the effect that we want. The idea is you put the hatch, smash, stitches, um, and they match. You pick a thread color that matches the blanket. So if the blanket that you're stitching on, the part that you're stitching on is white, make the smash stitches white as well. And it'll blend in a little bit more, but it kind of gives it like an aura of wow when you see it done. So let's talk about in the other one, um, I talked about these settings. The one that we want to do is travel on edge and we want to make it about I think two worked out really well and you see how light that is when I did it now the other thing we need to change right away is take off the underlay we do not need the underlay on the hatch smash smash stitches so you can see you can play around with it a little bit depending on what you are working on you can change the density a little bit if you're doing fur that fur might peak up on there, so you might want to change it. We can go back to fill and we can do 1.5. There we go. That might be just a little bit better. Now, the other thing we need to do, and I'm going to switch here to colors. Now, we picked a kind of a weird color, but hey, I could be doing it on an or orange blanket. We want to move that way up to the top. And so it stitches out first and it's going to smash down the fibers and it's going to make your embroidery sharp and clean. Um, I've had a few questions about the hatch smash technique 
And the only thing you need to do is change the density and the underlay on that actual smash stitches. You don't have to change anything on the design, whether it's lettering, whether it's another design, it doesn't matter. You don't need to change, to, you don't need to take off the underlay. This is so light, it's not going to make this any thicker. It is, however, going to make this stand out and look amazing. So that's one example. Why don't we try another one on a design? And let's see, let's go back to our My Designs. And let's pick another one that's way more intricate. Um, this one would look great. How about the baseball? And see how that'll work. Baseball bat, because it has these lines. Let's try that. It's kind of small, but that's okay. So select everything. And we're going to go to Edit Objects. And we're going to go Create Outlines. So make sure we have everything selected. I'm going to do four again. And uh, I think I'm going to pick it black. It doesn't matter. And make sure you have this one. Let's go to OK, and there we go. See, it did it perfectly again. Now again, depending on, I'm zooming in a bit, depending on what you're working on, you can select either one. Now, this one, let's delete it and see. That would be just about perfect, but you see how it caught everything and it's all one thing? It makes it so absolutely nice for when you're stitching it. So again, I just clicked on fill. I selected the outline because it's not going to do us any good as an outline. I selected fill and we're going to go back to our spacing. So I'm going to do 1.50 enter and you can see, whoops, I've left the underlay on. So let's go take all of that underlay on. And the last thing we need to do, let's take it and I'm going to change it to beige. And we're going to move it up and we got to uh, go right up. Whoops, I guess it's easier on colors. Way up to the top. And we want to make sure it stitches out. The other tan color was here. And we want the smash stitches to go first. And we can double check on that. That's the smash stitches. Doesn't that look great? It will really change everything you do. So it's not, Hatch Smash is not just for lettering. You can use it on any design and it's so quick to do. You have a bit of creative freedom on it because you can pick the size of the offsets. You can change the density and you can make it work for whatever you're embroidering on. So thanks everyone for watching. This is how you do the Hatch Smash with any design here inside Hatch Embroidery Software. Thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.